Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Mongolian Khanate, going for the Great Khan Achievement in patch 1.29. The last episode was good. We ate Kazakh, we kicked Timmy's teeth in, we beat up on Ming and stole a bunch of money from him. We now have a crazy good economic base. We have a lot of trade income. We're not expanding as much as I would like to, but honestly, Early on, it's not as much about expanding as much as it is about getting that economic base. So I know a lot of people are thinking, hey, you're not expanding a whole lot. That's fine. It really is. It's fine. I know it's not as exciting to watch, but more or less, we're playing in a semi-tall, semi-expansionist route, and I'm really thinking that it's going to pay off. We already control the top northern half of China. We're going to get the rest of this, and that will be good. Uh, all of this we can get in like two wars, so that's fine. Um, this stuff is coming. We're going to be getting a decent amount of this in the future. Timmy and uh, is Russia, Kazakh. So we're going to be good. Um, we're going to follow our, our event chain down here and we are going to be totally fine. Um, I need to find out if forming Yuan is a... Uh, well, let's actually see here. Does that say for the Great Con? Let's see here. Where is it at? Down at the bottom, I think. Um, Where's that? Right here. Starting as Mongolia. Okay, so does it say... All province in the Russia region owned by Mongolia. So it doesn't... I'm not so sure. It says starting as Mongolia. I'm gonna have to look into that. Anyways, I wanna remind you guys before we get started, check out the Discord. Uh, growing community of a bunch of fellow nerds over there. It's, uh, Good conversation, and I look forward to seeing you there. And uh, please, if you're enjoying the series, show your support and leave a like. It's very helpful. Uh, so, Key is trying to take the Mandate of Heaven. That'd be cool if they did, because then I could just annex them. And then the Mandate would actually no longer be there. But, honestly, I'm cool with Ming having it, because it keeps them weak. So I can uh, I can eat them. Nom nom nom, right? Um, so where Truce is up is 74. This Truce is up... 68... So, next April. So let's actually get you guys split and up here. Ready to pounce. Shirvan, I'm not worried about at all. And our truce with Timmy is up in 70. So we can daisy chain these wars. That'll be good. That being said, we're probably gonna need to get you guys kind of like over here. Not too worried about Tibetan rebels. Ooh, we actually can start converting some stuff, but it's probably not worth it, the money-wise. Um, we're gonna do a couple more dev clicks over here. Let's see here. Oh my! That's a lot of money, but... 0.5 a month? 0.15 a month, I mean? What about admin? We're still ahead on admin as well. Did we decide on what our next group is gonna be? Probably admin, I think? Religious is a good one, but... Admin is probably the best, or offensive. Which one is more important to me? Expansion or sieging? I think I'm going to go with military. So let's actually focus that. That way we're going to be really plowing through it, especially after this guy dies. Our uh, heir has a weak claim, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. You win some, you lose some, right? So let's get you guys in charge of these armies. And, uh, truce is up in April. He's at war with, uh, Great Horde is conquesting them over here, right? Yes, that one right there. Cool. Let us attack. Russia and Timmy will not defend them. Very good. So Timmy's, goodness, that's a lot of debt. He's going down. Timmy's going down. I wonder if we have something to do with that. 75% AE, win some fat battles, we're good to go. Okay, he can build up some. Okay, let's get you guys. Up here, so he's gonna have to die regardless. Let's actually get you guys split over here. How are the tribes looking actually? Let's uh 
support them. I think I'm not going to raise any more cavalry for now. Where's his capital at? <clears throat> oh, his capital's down here. Oh. Okay, I didn't even see that. So, let's get you down here, you over here, you over here. Oh, come on now. Very good. Let's get you guys joined up together down here. See if we can come over here and see just capital down. Prestige or money. I'll take the prestige. Helps with morale. Get you guys over there. <clears throat> see if we can catch him down here. Okay, we can actually get a catch on him. He might stack wipe. Very nice. Ah, he got on it. Okay, that's fine. Well, I suppose we'll just wait. Let's actually spend, send half of them over there and half of them over here. I can't believe we're making 20 ducats a month. 27 from trade as a horde. Okay, I've actually had a change of heart, and I think that horde ideas, um, horde nations can actually benefit from trade ideas. I have kind of been a hater of trade ideas for a while, and I'm not anymore. I'm gonna come over here and just try to get that siege over with quicker. So he will surrender quicker. Though, I suppose, let's see here, we want to take all of this, and ideally I can take as much of this as possible. I'm gonna wait it out. Wait till next year, it's fine. We gain 1%, so it'll end up being a net of 9, so it's worth it. Maybe I should come over here and siege down Shirvan. <clears throat> War with Timmy is coming next April, so one year. Get our maneuver guy over there, so it gets him there a little bit quicker. Uh, we just stack wiped the one stack for four wards ward points. I uh, wonder. I could vassalize him. He has cores here, but probably not worth it. <clears throat> not so sure. Ideally, he pieces out soon, though it doesn't look like it. So I'm thinking this is probably what I'm going to take, and I will just take as much money as he'll allow us to take. <clears throat> Very good. Our name is bigger now. And we will raise all of this. Pour it up. Oh, didn't mean to have time ticking as well. It's always important to raise before because it so it lowers it from 26 admin down to 14, right? Kind of a rookie mistake happens to the best of us. All right, so these guys are ready to roll. Let's get you over here. <clears throat> Timmy's got a big old army right there. Just stand in 37k here in the mountains. Don't ask me why. So he's got a good garrison. What's that about? Conscripted garrisons. Very cool. And we got Miltech as well. So we're gonna be four Miltechs ahead of Timmy when we go to war with him, which is legitimately insane, so. Uh, we want to rush you guys over here. Uh, one more month and we will, we can't declare on him till April anyway, so it's fine. <coughs> So, Ming is still Emperor, but Key pieced out. So I can actually core all three of these at one time if I wanted to. 
but... Oh, I missed one. Oh, right, that one. It's only level three, or it's only three devs, so... I don't benefit from not, or from not raising it. Alright, let's actually do all this tech as well, and then we will go for offensive next. And we will actually take the time... Let's see here. Printing press. We're not gonna get it, like, literally anytime soon at all, so we're gonna have to dev it. Nearby friendly province and adjacent province has it, so... What are we doing up here? We could go right here, and then it'll spread into these two provinces. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We do have Prosperity, which gives another 5%, right? 10%, okay. So that'll save us a ton of points here in the long run. So let's see here. Printing press is slowly but surely devin' up there. Each tick is giving us a little bit more as well, so it's good. We'll be able to get it here. And our, and our capital is gonna be super devved up, so it's really good. Um, Let's go with our Step Lancers and our Step Footmen. One more month and we declare. Truce with Timmy is up on the monthly tick. There we go. Kazak will help him. And we can actually full annex Kazak as a non-co-belligerent because there's not even enough land to worry about. Show superiority for the reduced um, aggressive expansion. And I'm looking to probably just mostly snake a couple of forts from him. That's a... Uh, Realistically the big one here, um, so we can get there not before the monthly tick bummer What about this one? This one's already Okay, very good So he's got a ton 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 of men in the field, but he's still in a ton of debt I believe right let's see here. Who are you allied to? Gazakamook. Well, I'm already at war with all of them, so um so yeah, he's at 55,000, or 5,500. Oh, wait. I didn't even see this one. Goodness gracious. Alright, no, we'll just come over here to this one, and then... This one's gonna be really low. Well, how come it's not negative one? For having low fort. I'm confused. It should be ne negative one for having a low garrison, I believe, but... I might be wrong on that. <clears throat> Do need to watch out because he's gonna eventually merge these guys up and get a doom stack. Uh, okay. Okay, so we won that one. Let's get up here and see if we can win this one. He's gonna probably attack me. Nope, he's not. If he wants to group up his men, oh right, he has. He can walk right into my interior now because I don't have forts up here in this frontier. Interesting. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, act smart and carpet siege down my lands. That would be unfortunate. It's I'd like it if he just was like, oh, there's a fort over here. Let me siege this mountain fort right by his, you know, hostile army. That would be pretty cool. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Okay. So we got all our stuff cored up. Win this siege right here. Come over here on his capital. Okay, who wants to have these guys up here? Let's go with uh, Land Shock Leader, which is a nice extra pip to have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we won this one, and we can come over here to Golestan. Matter of fact, let's actually get you guys up here. Let's actually, no, I, I change it. <laughs> we're gonna come down here. We're gonna siege down this capital. So we're actually gonna keep leave behind all of this. Just send our infant or our cannons down. See if we can siege this ASAP. Run up here and win a couple of fights. So he's got 35,000 men on a mountain fort. Absolutely disgusting. We're going to keep local defensiveness there, so it's a little over a month per siege tick. Meanwhile, over here, we're at under a month per siege tick. Uh, army professionalism for some money, I think, is worth. I'll take that. All right, there we go. Uh, so he's at 42% quite quickly, honestly. Huh. <coughs> he's lost a lot of men from attrition. Damn. 
Hey, won that siege pretty quick. Well, guess I'm gonna have to go win some battles. Guess that is what the name of the game is. I took his capital, so his war exhaustion is gonna start just exploding now. Hmm. And he has like no manpower, I guarantee it. Okay, he's got 15k. It's not nothing, but it's definitely not much. So he is carpet sieging me a bit. Let's see if we can find, catch some guys out over here. If we could catch them in Chewy in the steps, that would be perfect. Yes, we can. It's not necessarily our best general, but it might be a stack white. It was. Very good. Cool. Alright, um... I'm not really too concerned about all this. None of this is stated provinces, except for these ones down here. So, the war exhaustion we're gonna get from it is... negligible. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think I need to focus on... Getting these guys sorted out over here. Alright, so where are most of these men coming from? Gazakmuk has a has an army. Mostly it's Timmy though, obviously. So we're gonna siege down some of this stuff here. He wants to send some men over there to siege down that stuff, that's fine with me. I'll just come back for Chewy. Very cool. Let's get you guys all joined up over here. Get you guys joined up over here. Guess I don't need to have this stated anymore, unfortunately. Alright. Trade efficiency again is something that I will literally never say no to. Okay, very good. And now he's just gonna come down here in my vassal and siege down some of that stuff while his war exhaustion is ticking up. Let's get you up here. And we're gonna just go looking for some stack wipes with our uh, maneuver guy. Let's um, state this and give it defensiveness. Buy us some time. Oh no. We lost our maneuver guy. It's a quite a good general, but no maneuver, unfortunately. So we lost that siege too. Damn. He is really like siege. He is sieging us down quite quickly, but that's okay. This is the bad thing about having a big ol' um, country, is that it's hard, because, I mean, you're fighting wars on multiple fronts basically the entire time. Um, that's fine. Oh, we're gonna catch him. Very good. Stack wipe, possibly. Very good. Uh, he is locked in over here. Well, let's get a stack wipe over here as well. <clears throat> uh, level 3 Diplo wrap. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... I'm actually gonna take that because he's level two for seven, level three for eight, so that is uh, good with me. And that's another stack wipe. There we go. And just like that, he has less men in the field than I do. So all in a day's work, I'd say. Um, so he's up here sieging down Kazakh. Cool, so I think, honestly, the next order of business is to just run over and siege down the rest of Timmy's land. So let's get you guys worked up over here, and we'll take that guy. <clears throat> honestly, the more devastation I can give him, the better. Um, he doesn't have any of this stated up. He's got some prosperity here. Not in his capital anymore, which is good. We want to hit him where it hurts in the wallet, right? So. Very good. We can unstate that. I'm not going to worry about that. Do I need this policy now? Idea cost and institution spread I do want. So let's actually continue to dev this. 
How close are we? We're almost there. Might sink some mill points in, but I'm hesitant just because of the idea group. Shun Pretender Rebels, I don't really care a lot about, but I think they're going to actually halt the annexation process. No, uh, apparently not. Maybe if they actually siege it down, they'll get halt the progress. 59.3 up to what? Oh, we lost the siege? Dang. No, yeah, it does, it does halt the process. We keep losing the Diplo as well, which is a bummer. All right, so we won this one. Let's get over here, start sieging down some, siege our lance back. Our vassal can siege that down. We're sieging Kazakh down. We're gonna full annex him. I don't know about a separate piece. Might just do it in the same piece. Realistically, we'll probably do it in a separate piece though. So let's just get you guys spread out. Get you down here. Get you guys over here. Very good. Just gonna head down and just start sieging down much of his lands. I'm gonna send this guy up here and this guy up here. So we can peace out Kazakh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get these guys over here on this fort. Feels good to beat up Timmy, I'll tell you what. Lost the Siege of Merv as well. Damn. They're really going for it. Alright, um, I can lose some Horde Unity. We're about to take a bunch of land from this war, so... Should be fine. Alright, let's get you guys over here. Get you guys joined up eventually over here. Kazakh is gonna get full annexed and will give me 10 ducats. Very nice. I'll raise that. We will take the Diplo or the Mill idea. Yes. And we will spend a couple of points over here on Dev. And there we go. Every point we spend on Dev is also helping us financially. So we're uh we're doing we're doing good. So let's see if we can get these guys over here. Oh, this is dry desert, so we should probably win that. Very good. Still has a low low fort level, so that's good. So some separatists over here from for Kazakh. So let's see, what do I want from him? Mostly, I'm gonna take full states if I can. Hmm. Or better yet, I take forts, right? So. Do I have a claim on Merv? I do not. So I'm actually not. But I will take... I'll snake my way down for Golestan and take this one. And then... Row. I don't have a claim on Row. Hmm. But this would actually cut him in half. I'll have to think about it. As we start winning these sieges, we'll uh, be able to really work and do whatever we want. So let's actually come over here and see if we can get these Kazakh separatists kicked out of here. <clears throat> Where are you guys going, huh? Just gotta win these sieges. Okay, so there's one. Ooh, that's a good one, Lahore. Right? Yeah. Lahora, Lahore. I don't know how to pronounce that. Humiliate rival against Ming. I could do the take mandate of heaven, which gives me 50% cost for provinces, and I think I will do that. So if that's the case, we're going to piece this out, actually, and I'm just going to go for nice borders as well as taking a couple of forts because we do have court claims on all this. So 
We just need a little bit more war score and we'll actually be able to get this. So I think we're going to go for that. I'm not really too concerned about money. Money is not an issue for us anymore. More, it's about um, sieging him down and just kind of burying him. Uh, I'll take free army tradition. I think we might actually even be close to maxed out. Very nice. So he's got rebels. He's going to need to handle them or he's going to need to surrender to me. One of the two has to happen. So who did we lose? Mm. Don't think we need either of those. So let's actually cut that one out and Samarkand. That's good. Good stuff. All right, cool. Because so, we need to declare war on Mang Ming ASAP. All right, let's see here. Pour that up. Very good. So that's all coring. Get you guys over here, and where's this other stack? Down here. So let's get you guys actually just over here. Let's get you guys over here, see if we can help out our vassal. Let's see, force limit modifier I'm not too concerned about. Let's get you guys, you have a three maneuver guy, so let's get you over here. Fort Defense, I suppose, is a good one. Who wants to buy Mong Bang? Who do you want Kandariari against? You can't even afford it, bro. Broke. Broke boy. All right, we got a level four fort, actually. Something we're going to have to do against the Russians. <clears throat> even though I think they can just walk up through Siberia, but... Land Leader Fire? Dude, our leaders are going to be gods. Let's see here. Superior firepower. Okay, so this leader will get between 6 and 16 pips. Shock skill increased by 2 due to these modifiers. Mongolian mobility. <clears throat> Siege skill. So we actually have an extra 4 pips just due to ideas and traditions. It's pretty good. Okay, we're getting all this stuff cored up and we have no unrest. I cannot believe it actually. I cannot believe this. We're actually getting some good expansion going on too. Slowing it down was probably a good idea. You know, I feel like maybe I was going a little too quickly before. Please don't take 28%. There you go. Do we have any inflation? We do. Eh, it's fine. We're ahead. Let's actually dev this up while I'm thinking about it though. Just about three more clicks and we'll be able to uh, get that worked out. So that'll be good. Land of Opportunity, a general that is going to be poopy com or inferior compared to what we have right now. Definitely. Oh, Admiral. It was an Admiral, not a general. Cool. Uh, so let's get you grouped up there and up here and over here and get you over here. All right, cool. So let's attack Ming before he gets any more allies. We'll take the Mandate of Heaven. And we will do that. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have a hard time coring up a lot of this stuff, but it's really not a huge deal. Uh, mostly, I just want to kind of snake around and take what I have claims on, and then I'll get another batch of claims. So I'm gonna take all of Manchuria and then some of this stuff down here. All right, cool. Let's get you guys grouped up together. Pegu is his ally. I don't care about Pegu. Okay, so we got that one. One. Let's come over here. Let's come down here. Just siege him on two fronts. He can't. Can't win. It's impossible. Impossible. I think three clicks will do it. Might have to be four. Alright. I'll wrap this up in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please show your support. Leave a like. If you want to see some more of this, you can subscribe. And if you want to check out the Discord, the link is in the description down below. A bunch of nerds over there hanging out. and I look forward to talking to you there. 
with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot. I'll catch you guys later.